Viability what? Huh? It said viability what? Viability is at, let me check. Uh, it is at, so yeah, Kiedis, so we'll talk to him. Viability is at, what the hell do I need to look at for that? Oh, 80%. 80%. Now I'm talking to the man. The Ant Man, the outcast. Someone's been in the booze again. Like, I don't think you went the right way. Nope. I didn't see the dot no more. What dog? It's a dot. Oh. Sloan's inside. Have a moment, Pathfinder. You've handled your fair share of cat. Huh. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Yes, and? When Sloan took over, she slaughtered the cat who were here. There were mass executions, public. So people would know that Kadara was cat free. There have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. Hmm. What exactly are the rumors about the Ket? Ambushes. People disappearing. Vehicles sabotaged. Picked clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and Gara bullshit. But there's enough people saying Ket. Hmm. You said Sloan killed the cat here. What happened? The cat had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. Exactly. People were scared, mm -hmm. but the place had potential. So we fought the cat for it, and we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. If they are cat out there, send your own crew to deal with them. Listen, this is how it is. Everyone knows Sloan destroyed the cat presence here. Anything that hints otherwise, weakness. But you, you're independent. Where you go, what you do, nothing to do with Sloan. Consider it. I'll think about checking out the Badlands. Excellent. Settling Kadara, so ask. Alright, cool. Always more stuff to do. You want a scene? I'll make a scene. Have your orders. First entry, first official day as an outcast. Supposed to meet with Kiris in an hour. Victor says he's a major hard ass, but he was nice enough during my recruitment for terrain anyway. I'll just make sure not to be late. Update, never mind. They were right. Major hard ass and log. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just watching. Oh, okay. That's what I do. Are you a watcher? Don't I watch from the side. While you control what's coming up. Indeed. So you agree? Yeah. I like cheese. We got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. I know you had a hand in Venterev's escape. There's no proof of that. I don't need evidence to put a bullet in your skull. Hmm. That's not how you do things. Last thing I need right now is Pathfinder brains on my floor. Talk quickly. Indeed. Let's get some answers. Mm -hmm. Helios isn't exactly hospitable. How did you survive after the Nexus? We didn't leave empty handed, but when supplies ran low, we were forced to get creative. I ordered hits on Ket convoys, traded with Angaran villages. They told me about Gadara port. You never got violent with the Angara? Just the Rokar. 
Fuck those guys. <laughs> I looked you up. Head of Nexus Security, Alliance trained. Record shows a temper, but otherwise paints the picture of a loyal soldier. Why'd you switch sides? Because I'm sick of serving assholes. I could have handled the situation on the Nexus, but Tam wanted a bloodbath. He brought in the Krogan without even asking me. New galaxy, same old bullshit. You could have quit. They would have died without my help. Not all exiles are criminals. Some of us just had enough. You became a pirate by trying to protect people from a massacre. The irony isn't lost on me. You know, Pathfinder, when I joined the Initiative, I thought we could build a new society. A better one. But the Initiative was just another empty promise. The only person I can count on to change things is me. How did a human come to lead an Angaran port? When I got to Kadara, the Ket were rounding up Angara like animals. It was a slaughter. My people put an end to it. Naturally, the locals were grateful. And the heads decorating the spaceport? What's that about? A warning. To the Ket? To anyone. <laughs> what does the Collective have against the outcasts? People always want what they don't have. The Charlatan's thugs are no different. Who do you think the Charlatan is? My guess, a group of people. It'd take more than one person to run that outfit. You're not worried they're moving in on outcast territory? If they make a play, I'm ready. So, the outcasts. Yes. Give me the sales pitch. The outcasts aren't for you. Wow, no hesitation. I handpicked every one of my crew. They've got either potential or history with me. You've got neither. Indeed. I was only curious. Sheesh. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Pathfinder, stay out of Kadara's business. This isn't your turf. That's not going to happen. You have control, so it's definitely not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sit here on the side, commentating. <laughs> I was joking, and you know it. Indeed, you're yes. silly. I love you. I love you too. How much do you love of me? Lots and lots. Just like Hagen does? No. Just like You still miss her, huh? Mm -hmm. And your big bug eyes and your little tongue always hanging out. Mm -hmm. She's still happy, huh? Mm -hmm. No crying now. Can't make me. There's no crying in baseball. Baseball. There's no crying for Sophie. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because she's so little little. She don't. Mm -hmm. You are crying. Ah, look at you. Shall we watch old Yeller? Would you like to? I want to see Will how hard. Will that make you feel better? I just want to see how hard you'd cry. <laughs> How hard would you cry? He's weird. <laughs> How hard would you cry? Probably pretty hard. You're totally weird. Why is that weird? Because they want me to cry. I can't help it. Why? Because that's how God made me. Do you like seeing me cry? No, I like seeing you tear up. <laughs> seeing you cry makes me sad. Seeing you tear up makes me sad. You got calls on okay. the tempest. You Check back when you come in. What? You want me to tear up then? I like tearing. It's cute. Why? Because you feel things I can't feel. Is that so? Yes. How so? Because I have proclaimed it. Why is that? Because. Okay, you feel things more now. Indeed. All right. I've done that. Yes, you've done this to me. You've turned me into... Someone who does care. Yes. And so now I choose a happy life. Instead of a life of greatness that would likely be spent away. 
Um, so even if this isn't going to be great? It'll be great because I'm happy. <laughs> yes, it's cute. <laughs> but you know the great my family wants me to have. The great life my family wants me to have. Mm -hmm. The only way we can really fully do what your family wants is us leaving care <clears throat> and moving elsewhere. Yep. And we just can't afford that. Nope. Not for California, at least. Nope. I mean, we might be able to afford the plunge to, like, Vancouver, but then we have to get passports and we can't afford that. Nope. Colorado, maybe. I mean, still. It'll be a while for us to get there. <laughs> more money by the end of the month. Indeed, it will be glorious. I'll actually have a full-time job again, so. How will you feel about that? Uh, money? Uh-huh. Be with the nurse. We're going to get a lot of good benefits. It may not be the job I want to be doing right now, but benefits kind of outweigh what I don't want to do. Pretty much. And it would save you like what? 120 on insurance? Not to mention saving 90 or almost $100 on internet. We're gonna run out of shuttles at this rate. Ambushed? Anyone left? And I have access to not only medical, but dental vision. And then instead of trying to join a gym again, they have a gym there and work out there. Indeed. And it's right next door to where I can take classes, so convenience wise. Well, class, because I only take like, they have one more class I have to take, but I still want to take Who? a couple more classes. Who's there? Mm -hmm. Hamash, is that you? Don't talk. We'll get you back to town. No, I can't move. It's too late. I just want to rest. He's not going to be moving. Can you tell me what happened? It, it was the cat. Took us by surprise. They killed everyone. John lasted the longest. They didn't know I was still alive. I saw them raiding our packs. Then they, they took off into the hills. Huh. The hills have eyes. Oh no! In the hills. Is there a kept base there? <laughs> they have eyes. There's nothing in the hills. <laughs> I don't. We've never heard of a base. Sloan says Kadara is free of kets. <laughs> what did the cat take from you? I, uh, I don't know. Supplies, weapons, scavenged ship parts. I'll leave you to rest. Thank you. I... I wish... Kite is its rider. Your cat rumors have weight. Just found a caravan they attacked. Damn it. Really thought we got them all. One of the wounded said they headed for the hills. I'm gonna check it out. I'll search too. Grabbing a shuttle now. Indeed. Are you afraid? Shall I scare you? I love you. 
It doesn't look like the hills. This looks like the road. up into those hills. Uh, let's see how far away is it. I get one there. I'm a running man. I'm a running man. Run, 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 running man. Running man, running man. Running man. You love it, can't help that. Is that so? Uh huh. Sit up eyes, maybe. Yeah. It doesn't look like a hill, this looks like a valley. They said they escaped into the hills. This is more like the valley. What do you think? Well, maybe they went through the hill, or over that hill, and into the valley here. Excuses. I don't know where they went to after the hill. Excuses and the exiles have quite a setup over there. Clear. Won't okay. be happy to see us. Cat tracks. We're going the right way. Here we go. We're going to fuck some mamas. Maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you? What about the redneck Tungus clan? Would they know? Possibly, but we don't know them. Why do you say that? They might know. What about your brother? My family. Oh, you're talking about Our us and our kids. No redneck. We ain't no rednecks. More tracks. Can't be far now. We've got targets. Targets. Outlaws. Ow. Because I'm ready to hide out first. <laughs> Don't worry, Drek will take care of it. Look at that, he just takes it like a champ. Like a champ. Look at that. There's four dots. Look at him, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just taking shots to the face. Just slammed him right into the rocks. Is he invisible? Invincible. Invisible. Invincible. Invisible. I will. I'm doing that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> you better be. Invincible. I just kept saying that. Just to test it. <laughs> Not right. when things are standing in your way. Indeed. Now I've got to be a running man. 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 Running man.
A running, 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 running man, running man. See that cave? Man, Good spot running, for a hideout. Bet the cat are inside. Indeed. Kytus, I think I found something. Sending the nav point. It's a cave. Is it a cave of wonder? And then no. We got here. Impatient, are we? Sloan, I wasn't expecting you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not about to let someone else fight my battles, especially an initiative lapdog. I'm a lapdog now. Get us asked for my help. Yeah. You don't want me here? Take it up with Kaidus. Oh, I will. Enough. Let's get this over with. You're such a grump when you're worried. Every second you're gone from the port is an opportunity for the Collective. The Pathfinder and I can have... What was that? They know we're here. Get ready. Two bucks, did he? Oh, and now he chose Why is that weird? Because don't hate you. Because you're a running man. Yeah! Did you not like my little song? I didn't say I didn't. <laughs> Just say you're a dork. Why? Because you don't want me to hate you because you, you're a running man. Why would I hate you? Good question. For being a running man. Let's get rid of the bodies. I'll leave you to it. Manual labor isn't my thing. Of course it's not. I don't know where Titus is, but he's certainly not with her where he should be. At least we're getting he paid for this. Shit. Dun, dun, dun. Nah, we're he getting paid for this. No, I was just saying, he jumped shit. He's gone. Dun, dun, dun. Indeed. Right, Maybe he's upset. What was my inventory? One fifty. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! I gotta get rid of some stuff. Uh -huh. I'll get rid of some of the lower cost things. Indeed. Well, there's that. 
Mass Drift? I think so. Where is... So you can get rid of shit? Get rid of ship and travel back to the Nexus, yeah. Ergus Blarg, 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 Ergus Blarg. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Still seem a bit tired. Like, you sure you're gonna be okay for all this? Really? Oh well. Oh, Eureka Garrett. Just the water isn't so poisonous every time I touch it, it hurts. Man, that's up. It's always one of his victory pants. Snap the fingers. Do you hate it? Are you do the Pathfinder? Carl to dance. Got missed calls on the Tempest. Check back when you've got a minute. <clears throat> Just watching the ships come in. All right, let's go to the Tempest. Since we finished everything here, I believe. Gills, ready to talk to you about the Ket transmitter? You have me in email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Indeed. Check your email. Night on the town. As soon as I see if that's the last new quest I got. Apparently it is. Meeting with Axel. We did it. From Moshai Shepa. Pathfinder, Joel expressed that you wish to meet with Axel. It has been a long time since he and I spoke. He was so changed by the cat, it was difficult to talk to him, but perhaps enough time has passed, and together we can reason with him. I've arranged a meeting at my laboratory on Aya. Please come at your earliest convenience. Think this will be a happy talk? Or do you think he's just too, too consumed with his hate at this point? I can't see it being necessarily happy. I think it's still going to be a little sketchy there. Mm -hmm. so, knowledge. Call me. Writer from Ryaz Vidal. Writer. Something interesting just fell into my lap. Call me when you have a moment. Ryaz. I had diplomatic efforts. Writer from director Jaron Tom. When we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It is vital we placate the Angara and keep them on our side. They've opened an embassy on Aya, and our diplomatic team is already setting, settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. We've established ties with the resistance leader, the Moshai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be in gaining their help in colonizing Helios. Director Tan. In your debt from sellers. I wanted to send my, my appreciation for clearing my dear friend Senjev's name. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him, but it does my heart good to know that he'll be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavor and not a traitor. 
perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus revolts behind me and start looking to the future. Yours, Sellers. Closure is better, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Like, well, that's definitely better. Mm -hmm. Even though his friend died, mm -hmm. kidnapped forcibly. Ending. Something suspicious. Is that me? I'm Sidra Nix. Dear Pathfinder, this is Sidera, Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. I know this isn't following protocol because who am I to contact? Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetro will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up, and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. Thanks. Sidra. You are making waves. Hi, Isabel. Spread the word at Tartarus and import of your expert handling of the Rothar. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. Wouldn't want to steal your spotlight, Reyes. Matriarch credits. It was a scam. Do me a favor and don't tell Vetra, okay? Lol. With the most shine. Ah. Let's see, we have any new ones. How's it going? Nope. I should get back to things. Sounds good. I hear you found a stasis locker from the Salarian Ark. Technically, someone else found it first. But yes. How wonderful. I know it's not the Ark itself. But any sign is better than nothing, surely. Would Please, agree? if I can help the search at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. <laughs> I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Alright, load out the station. Don't need to be here. Is she in the room? She is not. Maybe a fish. Yes, I do. I can do that a little bit later. Let's go. Uh, I'm maybe I can do it now. I don't know. Missions. EVP. Oh, I do need to do this. Collect all rewards. Bam. Hooray! But yeah, I do need to go. Lots of good stuff. Anything here? Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? Indeed. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Yes. Yeah, because well. flirting only progresses after I've talked to her on the Nexus, which I'll do probably after this. Ryder. Oh. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Let's see, anything here? Nope. Anything on this side? Bug? Yep, just evil bug things and plants. And then there's missing calls, but we'll get to those in a little bit. Pathfinder, the trap you set in the cargo bay, we got a blip. I think something's in there. With the cat entrenched here and things as they are, maybe we should focus our efforts on leaving this cluster. You mean quit, run away? Well, we came to find a new home, not a new enemy, right? We knew this was a possible scenario, and we took the jump anyway. What she said. 
indeed at this point would you take that mentality just like we took the jump we knew this was a possibility mm -hmm. can't go back now mm -hmm. hey yep nothing there we can talk more later sure Gil, here's that cat transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? The location it points to. Should give us a fix on the Archon's ship. <sighs> right. It's not like there's much riding on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. Pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... <sighs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? I know we're still getting our feet wet, but I don't see another choice. You? <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. Only if we die. Indeed. It's okay, Gil. Just stay on the ship. Don't be funny. And do it away. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Nope. Good not talking much. to you. Anytime. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, there. Trap. Hi there. Nothing here. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Room. Nope. Not out. Okay, okay. Just a little bit. It's the trap. I was gonna say, is that the trap? Yeah. Just a second. I want to talk to everyone first. You're weird. Why? Because you're already here. <laughs> I. It's not like cool, you're not the Pathfinder needs All exercise. Snow, just you. <laughs> All humans whimper in their sleep, or just you? <laughs> They're funny. Their little banter. Tev Uni, a home in Vold. Sort of. Still feels good though. We'll talk later. I know it. Reports from Ephra regarding Axul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. A lot of hate, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. It's funny. They sound so serious and upset, and then you talk to them again, and they're more cheerful or just more up uppity. <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so nothing here, nothing new. Do you know why? Because I'm weird. And? And I accept it. And? And foof bows. Do you know why there's nothing new? But the foofy bow way. And? The foofy bow way? The foofy bow way. Oh my god, I just can't see it's a foofy bow way. Hello, Scott. Nope. Yep, nothing else. Thanks, Sam. Nothing and more. sense of humor is still very broken. Mm -hmm. 
All right, time to open the trap. And then we shall go on to the Nexus. Let's see what's in here. Hi there. You must be the one eating all our cereal. Aww. What do you think? A hamster. Uh huh. Don't be scared. Is that what you would be? Why is that? Would I be scared of a hamster? No, would you tell it not to be scared? Would you like coo it? <laughs> and be soft? Why? Like, what do you think of that? It's a little hamster. Hey, it's okay. No one's going to eat you. You're the most adorable critter I've met in Andromeda so far. I should find you somewhere safer than our cargo bay. <laughs> Would you rather have him as a pet or release him where he can be possibly be free but also be eaten? I'd want a pet. I want a fur baby. Even if it's not a dog, it's still cute. No, what do you think? What would you do? I get that. What would you choose? How about a that? nice warm cage in my quarters and all the cereal you can eat? Guess everybody around here needs a home. Nice. I've had hamsters. Do you like hamsters? They're cute. They spin around in their little wheels. They love running, don't they? Mm -hmm. Just don't ever make a male and female. Hamsters. No, because they'll have billions and billions of kids before you know it, huh? Well, that. Also, the babies are huge. Yes, they are. I have a scar to prove it. It just latched on, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Was it? I hear it. All of my family's idea. They're like, let's let's put the male and the female together. Maybe you can have babies. I'm like, okay. So they did. Sure enough, she did. And one of the babies, I had to clean the cage, so I had to move them out of the way and move them into the other cage that I, I had. And I tried to get a hold of one of the babies so I could move it. And it bit down and got me on my thumb. I still have the scar to prove it. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? It's cute. Why is that? I it's hairless. Give, I'd give him a, a bigger cage, but it's just me. It seems like a very, very small confinement for something that its big. size. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's why even when I had hamsters, I always went for the more elaborate, bigger, fun cages where they can move around through little tunnels and then go up higher and just had so much more space. Indeed. Alright. Onward to the Nexus. Eh? Alright. 